Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play GTNH. So we are back and uh, been doing a bit of work on the map here. You can see here, um, if we go over here, I got our pipeline going all the way from here to here to our oil that we're going to set up. Um, so we'll check that out in a minute, but let's go through our quests here actually because I got one done here. That's a pretty cool one here. Um, the cool steam uh, jetpack here. Uh, so basically you have to make a solid fuel uh, boiler firebox here. So pretty simple on the outside there. The bronze firebox, I guess would be a first time we did this one. Uh, just bronze plates, bronze frame. We've done all the bronze, like bronze obviously, but frames and stuff as well. So it's nothing really new there. Uh, so that was cool. The backpack tank, actually, you can you can make, for the quest, it wants it like this. So you just convert a regular tank into that. But oddly enough, to make it can also be either or. Uh, so uh, tiny steel fluid pipe, which I think it might be the first time we've used those. Uh, aluminium plate, steel screws, and electric MV motor, which we've made, of course. You got the cool jet pack here. So pretty cool. Yeah, for some reason, they have a recipe for both, even though you need to do it through that for the one. So... Uh, interesting on that. So basically uh, what you can do is uh, you, you have it in your inventory as an item at first and you can right click it and you can put it on your back. And if you go to escape here and go to options and controls, uh, it's under adventure backpack, I guess it is. Oh yeah, there it is. So I have it set to H. So if we go to H here, you can put fuel on it. So I'm using block of charcoal and then you can give it water. So I'm using cells because they can, they work and you get the cell back, which is great. And plus then you can carry like a stack of it with you and fill it up over time. And uh, basically it has to heat up. You have a little thing on the bottom. Now, since we have that client add on with the uh, armor on the side there, might get in the way, but I moved mine over. So you can, you can do all that in the mod settings actually. Um, and then, yeah, you can fly and then, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, in the mod options here, I disabled um, a few things here, the sound. So I disabled the, these two here because I didn't want to ever have to hear them. I kept my piston boots. I like the sound of them. Um, and then the graphics, I think it was, was it the status bar? Tanks. Here you go. Yeah, I, I indented it by 50. That way, uh, it was further away from the right there, and I had the room to keep an eye. So one's like a reserve tank. This basically like your reserve tank. This is the actual tank, you can say. So it slowly eats from this tank and goes into this one. So you got to keep an eye on that. But uh, yeah, that's all it does. A pretty cool little uh, little jetpack, anyway. So um, yeah, so we can we can go around and look at all these. Uh, light these up I guess while we're here so this is our pipe uh, line so obviously we've played around with the long distance uh, fluid pipes which we love um, and uh, I wanted to obviously put some more use into it uh, because I like them so much so uh, yeah I went ahead and made a pipeline basically I'm just gonna put torches here I mean it's not a big deal but I mean mobs can spawn in those spots and snipe you so I mean, then again, they can spawn on the ground here and hit you anyways. It's not it's not meant to be uh, protected in that sense anyways. I just thought I'll light it up because it's kind of cool. I can walk here at night. And overall, I'm going to be somewhat safe, but I'm not. it's not going to be perfection or anything. Uh, look at that, 230. I think it goes up higher now. Two, oh, uh, where does it say? Can't even find the ammo count. It's too much to find it now. Ah! Uh. Oh, 230. Yeah, so 230 is the max now. So uh, basically, I uh, upgraded it. But uh, what I did was I put um, a diamond on it and then I put an emerald on it because I just wanted more rounds on it, basically. So that way, because I don't fight most of the time anyways. And then that way, when I do fight, uh, it has a lot more ammo so I can enjoy like a nice fighting session without like having to deal with it, basically. So... Uh, that was my, my my thinking of it. So this is going all the way here. It's not always the prettiest. I mean, I could have kept this up the same height here, to be fair, but whatever. Um, I was trying to make it a little bit more flowy and with the land. Um, but, uh, yeah. And then we got over here. Um, I should put a ladder here later on. That was the idea of this transparent one was a ladder would go up here. And then you'd go into this room and uh, your pipe is going on the roof here. So it'll go on the roof and in. And then basically in here is your oil. So if I jump in there, I'll die, obviously. But uh, yeah, and then we'll start our, our oil draining basically from there. So I think that's pretty cool. So, uh, And this copter goes up to like I think 180-ish or so. Um, which is great. So I can I can easily just hold space here and you know then hold shift here. Kind of zoom back home with ease basically without it, too much issue. Oh, look, you can see the steam tank. That's so cool. I saw the uh, EXP one too. You could spy on players. Oh, I know you have a steam tank in there, buddy. 
Uh, I automated uh, the bees here. This is my little set here. Kind of pathetic, but I thought it might as well. Uh, the trick here, though, is to set these to uh, output and input or something like that. I don't know. Do I have a screwdriver? No, you won't find out now. Uh, but it was basically to allow output but also input because I guess because you're, you're taking it out, but you're also putting it back into it. Um, it has a setting, I guess, if it were to just extract, it should just go into here. But even then, it wasn't working at all. I don't know if it has like a feedback loop or something. But anyways, when I set it that, it worked. So, um, and I checked his and played with his. So hopefully his is working again fine. Yeah, it is. Okay. Because uh, I changed his settings and I had to change them back once I figured out what was going on. But uh, I was a little confused there. So it was nice having a little example there. Mine's a little bit more compact though, so. Nah. Um, Electro said he didn't want to do that because he was worried the pipes would just like automatically reconnect or something. I said, no, it's not coded in that way, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it works for him. So in here is a new room for us uh, for our new... Basically, we want to uh, do our stuff there. So uh, yeah, hopefully that works. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So let's see here. Um, let's go to our quests here. And did we claim this, by the way? No, we didn't. So, choice award. Uh, we'll just go with uh, the loot bag there. And uh, what other things have we finished off camera potentially? Multi-block goals. I think I did something accidentally without even thinking of it. So, yeah. So, to make this. So, an alteration. Of, okay, Steam. You can use the Railcraft boilers. They require at least one firebox more than the size. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we'll just accept this. Sure, why not? Um, but uh, this is something we might look in later. Basically, you can make a Railcraft boiler. And, uh, oh, yeah. Here it is. So, you got the. that. So, that was the, the solid one. There's a fluid one. And then there's uh, the low pressure boiler and then the high pressure boiler. So all this you can work on later on. But uh, I triggered that accidentally while making that uh, jetpack. So I was like, okay, sure. Why not, right? Um, okay. So today we're going to look into making that fuel and everything. That was the, the idea. Uh, we're going to do some cuts, obviously, because it will drive me insane if I try to, you know, do it all live kind of thing, especially since uh, it's one of those things I'm not going to be the best at, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll need to learn it and whatnot. Uh, one thing I learned about my bolts here, I always wondered, why is it not charging right all the time in here? Uh, I realized it's because of this room, um, because of full slab slabs on here so what i might consider doing later on it's not a must and i mean i can just keep it as is but i might convert this to half slabs to get the 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 light up there or now that i remember when i afk or diddle dolly or whatever maybe i should remember to just you know be up here or whatever uh a bit more because i realized i wasn't charging these up if i'm over here obviously it's also got that but uh um, they're, they're a slow charge anyways, but I realize because it, it's a solid block there, uh, they charge even slower than ever. So uh, that was a mistake on my part without really paying attention. So uh, let's see what we got here. So we got basic distillery. I made three of them. I made three chemical uh, factory guys there. Um, and then we're going to need a lot more. I think there was like electrolyzers involved in there. This one, I guess, has a pump on it. Let's, let's take that off of there. Uh, there it is. Yeah. It's like, that should stack, and then I realize it's not stacking, so there you go. And then, let's go ahead and remove that. Excellent. And then, yeah, so uh, I took all the stuff down here, because obviously we had the other place here. I closed it away. I like to hide it. I don't show people. That way they're like, oh, whoa. You know, they don't get too excited. It's like, it's kind of like a, a secret room in a sense, so. Okay. And then, yeah, we're going to do it in here. We're going to need some steam pipes. and Actually, we're going to need steam pipes to use and steam to use. Uh, I'm going to need quite a few things, to be fair. So uh, let's start with... Uh, there's a centrifuge here, too. Centrifuges must have... Oh, yeah, this one has a pump on it, too. I kind of want to just take it off just because it annoys me now that it doesn't stack. Oh, does it just pop off? Oh, because it's on the bottom of it, I think. Okay. Yeah, I probably said it was on the bottom. And so it pops off automatically just because... Um, I guess it was on the ground and it was invalid at that point. So that was uh, an easy one. I don't actually know if we need those. I just thought, uh, you know, since I saw that, I checked that out. So um, you got this one. This one obviously has something. I might need these guys to be fair. So might as well grab these. Oh, this has the, the void one on it. That's right. That might be very useful too, to be fair. So we're just grabbing 
you know, a bunch of things that might be useful. So let's grab you and let's grab you potentially. I'm going to probably want to do the legless ones and all that later, but I'm thinking maybe more later. Don't really care right now too much. So, okay. And uh, we got a wrench there. Okay. We're going to want to probably change some input sides if possible. Uh, we're going to probably want to bring in possibly some conveyors, possibly some pumps. You have to make more of these if I want to. Uh, oh, yeah, I did a change down here. Uh, yeah. I was going to stack them from down here and just do them cleaner and everything else, but uh, I haven't gotten around to that yet. So, um, yeah, let's just sit in there. And I'll make sure I use, like, the, the, the new... Uh, Long distance pipes, for, uh, item one and the fluid one, just to, to make it as legless as possible. So I think that's really cool. I enjoy doing that. Um, okay, so we got the wrench. We got a screwdriver. I think we... Oh, yeah, we're going to need steam. Um, yeah, we're going to need a lot of steam, more than likely. You got the advanced chemical one. That's for the more advanced part. We'll, we'll keep that till the end, I think. And then potentially, I guess, you want some wires. Now... Do we want to do an array of these or do we want to, because I don't know what the recipes on all these are going to be. I think they're pretty, oh, they're 16 EU and yeah, they're pretty somewhat lower levels. I say we do an array of them. I think that would be, that would make more sense to be fair. So, um, cause you got your, this, so one, two, three. Yeah. So four of them, I guess, into MV. So that would make more sense actually. So let's do, let's do exactly that. So we're going to go and get some more MV cabling. I think then there we go. Or I don't know why I said MV cabling. You know what I meant anyways, LV cabling. I was actually making some of this stuff earlier. I guess we ran out of the rubber, so I don't know if I'm going to find some rubber in here. Molten rubber. Nice. Okay. And then hopefully we have some in here. Yes, but we're low on something. Oh, the actual rubber. Well, you know what? We actually might have a lot of you now. Yes. Okay. Something is not happy. Oh, I touched the seam pipe. We're good. I got a little worried there because you know what I did? I ran. I stopped it. But uh, yeah, it's got a stack in there. Oh, there's more in there, obviously. There you go. Um, I was using this to make rubber sheets. And to make a bunch of the conveyor modules, but uh, I thought, well, I mean, you might as well solidify it because I think that was the easier recipe, so that should solve it. So we're gonna have to remove one of these to make this flow through here correctly. There we go. Okay, that's working. Okay, perfect. Um, so let's go back over here, and we're gonna go ahead and fill you up, and there we go. Now, I like to get these going, but I don't know who's going to be nice. Are you going to go, oh, it looks like it goes first from left to right, I guess. So, I think we're fine. Yep. I wasn't sure who was going to play fairly there, you know, so. Okay. Perfect. And that way we have a bunch more uh, of the cables later on, and uh, we can use those up. Okay, so we'll go grab that. Grab these in case we need those, though I probably don't. Um, cause yeah, we're gonna use these and we're gonna do the nice little array of them, so that'll be kind of cool. I was just thinking I'll do them over here. <coughs> Excuse me, over here somewhere. <coughs> Where do you want them? I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, if we were to open that room up later on, it might be. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Let's just put them in here. Okay, let's do it here so we have some room, obviously, for the future if we need it. Now, do you want them open or... I guess it doesn't matter. That should work. Oh, you're there? Okay, that's good. Yeah, that'll work. There you go. And... How much do you guys take or hold or whatever anyways at a time? 16. Okay. Yeah, so 1,600... I don't want to do... Oh, yeah, that's not going to be enough, though. Is it? No. Okay, that might be a problem. So our issue here is the throughput might be a little off. What I might do is for now is steal it over here if we still have this thing over here. I don't even know where it is. Oh, yeah, here it is. So I think what I'll do is I'll just take it from here for now just for the fact that uh, we're being lazy. It doesn't matter to do this anyways. It's just more like, you know, we're doing it more efficient, whatever. But like I said, I'll do that all off camera. That way uh, I can do this... Uh, Get, get this going, basically. That's that's basically what it is, so. 
because then we have to go in and we have to do a whole bunch of other stuff and I don't even have enough material for uh, to do this right now so we'll just make a couple more actually I wonder I might have actually is that already picked up yeah I guess it is because I uh, that's the same was that the same ones I was using before potentially I think so but whatever um, we're gonna need a hammer there we go Fine, be a jerk. Um, oh, because it's do all uh, the smashed up ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got some of those, but not enough. Okay, so let's do more of these. Two, three, four, five. There you go. And then we can. Here we go. There we have it. And that way we got something going here. Okay. And then let's just link you up here. There we have it. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Good. And those should be pretty fast here, right? Because of, uh, yeah, those pipes are pretty huge. So <laughs> we don't have to worry about that too much. Okay. So uh, that should work. And then we can take these ones. So obviously, I mean, this is, oh, I'm going to have to do this anyways. Yeah. It's like, can I do this without the wire cutters? Like, not really, unfortunately. I've been trying to eat different foods, you know, making different foods and stuff lately, so my health is getting a bit better. I thought, eh, the padding's kind of nice, so. Let's go ahead and do that. There you go. Okay, that should work, my friends. So you want to make sure everything's basic and, you know, obviously you're using tin cable and stuff like that. So there you go. So, yeah, the first one we want to do is the distillery in the uh, the raw oil. And uh, I'm hoping it's called raw oil, obviously, when we grab it. Uh, sulfuric light fuel. Okay, so let's go ahead and, um, yeah, distillery. And I'm just doing it like one machine right now. Maybe later on we'll want to, you know, expand it or whatever. But there you go. So there's your distillery. And then there's, oh, look at all the oil going in there. Oh, my God. We feel like a, an oil baron. I wonder if there's any uh, free oil right now or do we have to earn that? Oh, we can get some free oil out of here. I'm going to do that right now just to get us started. Um, obviously, we can just go there and get some buckets, literally. But I'm just thinking like, well, I'm a little lazy right now. And... Who, who wants to go all the way out there right now? So uh, I thought, hey, look, at there's an option here. So this is actually not a bad option to get you started, to be fair. Um, so and then chemist coins, the green ones. So um, was it five or ten? We'll go with ten, I guess. It was five. There you go. Nice. How long does that take, I wonder? 20 minutes. That's not too bad, to be fair. Uh, but that gives us a nice little uh, starting sample anyways. So your oil is going to come in here. So you don't really need to worry about having a container to do this part of it. Because obviously it'll do it for you. Another thing we forgot is... Uh, actually, we should make a crafting table in there. And just to make life easier, just in case. But uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, we actually have a crafting table. And we'll grab that. And then we're going to grab some circuits. Now, you remember I did a bunch of circuits? Yeah, I have a bunch of circuits here. I also got a bunch of MVs, uh, MV circuits going too because of that. So uh, this is just having the stuff here. 31 of these. And yeah, got a nice little bit of going... A uh, bit of stuff going on anyway. So. so let's go ahead and... Let's put you here for now. And let's convert you over. We're going to have to convert a bunch of these over, to be fair. And I think this one was going to be a number two. There we go. So if we throw you in there, and then we put... Oh, okay. So these can be clicked in. There you go. There you go. So sulfuric light fuel. Okay, so now we're going to do the light fuel. So to make the light fuel, you're going to put it into a chemical reactor, I guess. Uh, so it's unfortunately, uh, unless there's a one I'm missing, I, unfortunately I don't think it's going to be as easy as that. Um, but sulfuric light fuel, yeah. And then we want it light fuel. It'd be nice if there was a, a shortcut here, but I don't think there is going to be. Because so, I think this is all going to be the... Uh, 
Yeah, cracked one. Yeah, so basically at this point you have to do chemical reactor. So the chemical reactor here is going to end up doing the hydrogen cell. And uh, yeah, so sulfuric light fuel and hydrogen. So this is going to get interesting. <laughs> Does it actually require that much too? Oh, damn. Is it really 12K? Because that's that's crazy amount that's needed. Uh, so chemical reactor anyways. And uh, yeah, so we might as well dump all that in there or whatever you can do at a time. Oh, do you? Oh, you only do. Okay. There's not a buffer in those, I guess. So. Oh, I guess it was showing you just like a full big number there because obviously it would have failed there. Oh, no, the chemical reactor probably has a bigger buffer. That's what it is. Okay, so let's do that. So, do do do. Light fuel is a chemical reactor. So, we need a chip of four. So, we'll put you in here. We'll put you here. There we go. I think there's a device you can make. I don't know if it's now or later or whatever where you can actually uh, make this a little easier. Uh, you can, like, open up the ch Heck, maybe you can even do that with the chips. I don't even know, to be fair. No. But I think there's a device you can get and that lets you program the chips easier, I think. You know, obviously don't quote me on it, but uh, I do think something like that exists. Okay, so we're going to take the sulfuric light fuel and turn it obviously into light fuel, but we're going to need hydrogen cells. So this is where things are going to get some interesting and we're going to have you in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the floodgate here. So because this is simple, we can use you and we can just pop you right into there and there you go. Excellent. Unfortunately, because of the way we're doing things, it's a little bit more of a nuisance. I could do um, this, actually, as a temporary measure. It doesn't even have to be temporarily. I was thinking I'll do this, but I need a bigger container then if you do that. You didn't think about the bigger container, did you? Now, I had some bigger containers. or These are all oxygen ones in there. Okay, here you go. No fluids. There you go. That'll work. Actually, I can only do it with the one because the other one's a pain, isn't it? Yeah, darn it. I forgot about that. So we can do it to eight, but the other ones we're going to still have to do it manually anyways. There you go. And then even then, I guess it's still going to be one at a time, to be fair. So. There you go. We can just hide some of that. Okay. So we, we got to get that one up, obviously. That's our, our task right now. Um, okay, so we need to go ahead. Uh, so now that we know what we're doing here, uh, we need to go ahead and get ourselves the hydrogen here. So the hydrogen was the fun one, um, but I think we can do it pretty not so expensive anyways. So there was the ones where it requires items. We're avoiding that one, obviously. Uh, there's a chemical reactor stuff. I don't know what the... Oh, that's ethylene and all that. Okay, so there's probably not a low level. We can use our arrow keys, by the way. That's water, but it requires methane and water and water. Yeah, okay. So I don't think there's one that you can do through that. Okay, so this is going to be the electrolyzer. So with the electrolyzer, I think we can spit pure water into it. So that's the one we're going to look for here. See, I went backwards because I thought it was near the end, but I think I did the poor choice here today. Okay. Yeah, because you're going to get empty cells, right, eventually anyway. So, so if you put an empty cell hydrogen, you're going to get oxygen out of there. There's your hydrogen, right? So, um, But you would rather probably have a hydrogen cell, right? So how can I get the hydrogen? Okay, there you go. Oh, I get it, because you get two for that. Oh, I see. 50 seconds, so, and you get half of less. Okay, that's fine. No, that's that's good. Okay, we'll do that one. So we'll, we'll take a picture of that one. So we're going to do the electrolyzer at that. Now, the electrolyzer eats a lot. I mean, a lot of power on that one, unfortunately. So if you want, you could do a dedicated power. You don't have to do a dedicated power. Um... 
I could put it right here even if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter, but it will eat the, the most amount of power probably through this process. Well, so far the most uh, power. So I'm just thinking, how do I want to do that to be fair? So basic electrolyzer. Hmm. You're going to need some room for it too. Uh, that's the only downside as well. Maybe I will do a dedicated setup for it. It does mean I'm going to need some steam. This one's, oh, this is a basic one actually. Yeah, let's grab this one out of here. This is just that uh, cobble generator that we're not really using anyway, so I guess we threw it all in here. Silly me. I was trying to make some room, but... Oh, crap. <laughs> well, aren't I happy I have that? Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to... Oh, that's not what we wanted. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just put you here, and then we're going to just go and have you... Doesn't really matter. I guess we can just have you go like that. Sure. And then we need to connect you guys to that one. There you go. So basic, basic, perfect. Okay. And there's that. Okay. I don't know if I'm giving it enough room because obviously I'm, I'm hampering it a bit because of the back here. So this could be problematic. So I might have to redo this anyways, which is going to be stupid. But that's on my fault, my own fault, right? So um, I have to give it water. It doesn't really matter where the water is coming from. I just need to give it water. I guess for now we could steal some of this water. I know it's kind of needed, but I don't think it's going to use that much water to begin with um, per, per se. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do it that way. Yeah, let's just... Yeah, look at this. Nice small fluid pipe. Are these done correctly or did I... Oh, that's... Uh, oh, it's... Uh, okay. Let's hope I didn't do these right so I can just siphon these off the wrong way. Uh, or even if it's just they, they are done right and just siphon off the one, then that's not a bad idea either. I'm hoping I can do from the bottom. So keep in mind, this is not a big deal going over chunk borders, blah, blah, blah. Um, it won't explode uh, because you're not, you know, obviously you're not doing something important like trying to uh, power a, a generator or something that will heat up. And then, you, you know, you throw cold water in there when the chunks are unloaded after and blow it up. So there shouldn't be any, any major issues here, but... I know, I picked the, the worst tool of the job. To be fair, my other one would be so fast that it would just be all screwy anyways. Okay. There you go. Okay, and then I guess from here, we'll just hook you up. There you go. There you go. And that should give it water, hopefully, from underneath. Okay, I see water. Okay. Yeah, it's working. Perfect. Okay. That should work. And then we can, you know, cover this all up if you like. Oh, my goodness. Or place the wrong. And you put the cable in. It's like you did everything wrong possible. There you go. Okay. The side. There you go. And then you can put these guys in. Okay. So there we have it. And uh, that's getting its water, which is great. And then we're going to put a circuit of three in there. So we need to go and get our screwdriver again here. Put you in here, and there's three. We're going to have to get more of those, obviously. And there you have it. And then we just have to put cells in there, which I have some cells from the empty of this anyways. You also have this, obviously, too. Actually, that might not be... Oh, it already did all those. Oh, wow. Actually, wow. You did the... Wow. Okay. That was better than I expected there. Okay, so uh, we'll just do that for fun. There you go. So now you're going to have the hydrogen in a cell, which is perfect, but you're going to have a byproduct of the uh, um, oxygen or whatever. 
we can dump that we can keep it it's up to you obviously i'm thinking i don't know if i can actually dump it within this actually so that's another problem i'm not sure of or if i need a container beside it probably a container but uh, i guess we'll find out long term here <laughs> let's get some more uh, tin i don't know how much i have left of it because i was using some of this to be fair so um small tin pipe okay whatever get some uh small bronze fluid sure why not what do we need for that just tin plates right lots of tin plates let's grab some wait i couldn't there you go those are tin plates i was like eh, i should have some more and then we got to get our so what happens when you put things in the the bag you, you've, you've ruined everything basically okay there you go by the way, how is our uh, thing keeping up, by the way? So this is doing good, yeah. And I, as far as I know, this is working out well, so. Now, you have to move these. You see how there's a little point there and there's a little point there? You actually have to have those in the right point. I put a, a thing underneath it. A hopper wasn't working. I had this hopper pointing to this because they were both facing here. It wasn't working. And I even went to bed like that. And then I learned I failed so bad. I was like, God damn it. But it's working great, and I fixed it by putting in an extra um, steam thing turbine in there. So it's basically running an extra steam turbine to keep that battery touched. So this has been going on for a few hours at least now. So it's it's been running pretty damn smoothly. So you'd have to do the math, but it's been go going good. There was three done last night because that's how much fit in the buffer when I did it by hand. And then uh, everything else didn't work, so... Okay, so um, awesome, that is working. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the item pipe and we're gonna pump it into here. Okay, so I'm gonna cover, give me a second, I'll be back a sec. Okay, so let's try this out, shall we? So we're gonna, I hope I, I get this right. So we're gonna put you from here. And now you're gonna wanna put your, uh, your, your, your fluid in here. I'll probably, I could do it from underneath. It would be kind of cool to do it above though, to be fair, so. Um, Maybe? How do you want to do that if you were to do that? I don't know, actually. Um, I'll probably just do it underneath. Screw it. It'd just be kind of cool having the pipe going up in the air, right? You know what I mean? But uh, where would I put it in here now? It has to be in this one, too, right? So, I mean, I could always come out and around, to be fair. But that might look idiotic, too. I'll just do this for now. I can go in the back and down, right? So, and then let's go ahead and wrench you here, please. And then we're going to go ahead and wrench you up, I guess. That should, oh, that's doing that one. Okay, we'll do that. There you go. We'll have you go there. There you go. And that should auto output over here. And then hopefully do something now obviously now we're we're doing the whole oh we got to wait for this crap right so um and i wasn't doing a good job filling these up so yeah there you go so that should work to be fair so sulfuric light fuel to light fuel yeah for yeah, that that should be good. We should be good. I'm, I think we're good. I might move this around just, you know, because it doesn't matter that way, obviously. I just thought, why why not, right? I do, I do wish this could hold more in the, the sense that I could do the tank and drain it in there, I guess, but... It would have made some sense, but I guess we're doing it by hand right now for this example. Okay, so after that, what we're going to do is we're going to take it and make the cracked one here. So, uh, the cracked one has two options. I was thinking we'd pump and steam in it directly, which unfortunately means you're going to have to do one by cell. Uh, that's how it works. There's not like a two, you know, not till you get to the multi-block versions later on. So, one has to be in a cell, one, you know, so it's just how it works. So, if we're going to go based on cell... Um, I wonder if there's a way to no, because you'd have to get a bunch of cells in there. Oh, yeah, and it does like 12 of them So no, it wouldn't work that way anyways um, Yeah, let's just go ahead and do we have a buffer for this maybe? 
Now, here's the downside too here. You have to keep in mind. We're going to have to have this outputting. <laughs> this is where we're going to run out of room. I can guarantee it. I'm going to have issues. I think I can do it from underneath. Um, so I don't think it's the biggest deal, but I'll have to come up and around potentially. But then I have the oxygen gas as an issue. So you're already starting to see, oh, wait, there's chaos, you know, um, because of the way it is. And I don't think I can use the front facing either. So that's another problem. I don't actually, I don't know. I, I say that, but why not? Why can't I use the front? I wonder if I can use this on here, by the way. Uh, let's try this. Let's try it on the front if it can. No, it won't even let me place it on there unless the server is lagging right now, which I don't think it is. I think this is, yeah. Darn it. So, yeah, we, we need more space because we have, we got water coming in the bottom. We have that going to the top. And I'm going to have to put something coming in, but we also have to take that out. But here's the trick. You can't place anything in the front. You can't place a hopper in the front. Nothing can go in the front. So nothing can go back into that, basically. I'm, I'm about 90% sure about the hopper on the front, too. We can go get one, but... But, uh, let's see here. Oops. Hoppers are always in the same spot, but, you know, sometimes I, I like to choose not to have them in the same spot, apparently. Or think they're not in the same spot. <sighs> You're not going to work, I bet, right? You're going to... Yeah, so there's our problem there. So already now you're starting to see the, the constraints of this being here is obviously not a good choice. So the only way we're going to be able to fix this is is moving this into a different spot now, which means we have to bring this back. We're going to have to move this piping back for this, and uh, it's a bit of a headache, isn't it? So that's the beauty of it. Let me, let me fix that. Okay, so... 11.7, so it should take effect here soon. The nice thing about using the bigger ones here is that it fill up. Got another 16, might as well. There it goes. That runs fast too, so this is going to be your weakest point here, to a degree, to be fair. Um, there you go, so you got the light fuel. Awesome. So now we need to do the steam cracked into the light fuel, which then... We thought we, we need to do cells, right? So we're going to have the fluid go into one spot. We have to have the cells coming out of another. So I'm hoping that I can take the cells and dump them somewhere. So here's the problem. You need to be able to filter this somehow. Urgh, this is such a pain. There is a filter system, but I don't know how well it is. I think you can pull. I guess you could put it to a chest and then pull from it. Um, I would say that's probably the best way to go is just put it to a spot where then you can just pull out multiple times potentially. So if we go like, I don't even know if you can do it from the bottom. I hope you can. Yeah, you can. So I would say that might be the way to go is just put into a chest and then, you know, come out with uh, something to pull out of it later on potentially. Now, if you're going to put it into a thing, oh, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's going to be a pain in the ass period, but we'll, we'll find out here. So that's on the bottom here. So if we say item auto output, it should hopefully go into that container. Yes, okay, it did. Um, we can turn on our, there you go. So we know that's working. So basically now what we need to do is do a filter. Um, the filter thing is ridiculous though because it's uh, it's not hard. It's it's what I'll do off camera because it is annoying. Um, I don't know much about this filter thing to be honest. I was thinking the other filter that's the byproduct, but maybe that is what you're supposed to use. An like item Greg Tech filter. Yeah, but there's actual, hmm, maybe that's something that we have to look into. Um, what we could do is Ender IO, to be fair. The Ender IO would be really good for this stuff, too. Um, they have the conduits, which then you can sort, and this would be much, 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 much easier. Um, blue, I don't know what we have for that, actually. Oh, multi, ah! Okay, polyethylene. Okay, so th let's just double check, make sure. Yeah, item conduit. Yeah, okay. And you have the fluid ones. Okay, so yeah, for the item conduit that we want, we need to have 
Uh, I think we can even do this pulsating stuff to be fair. I don't think that's hard. I think it's mostly for the fact that we need the uh, other material here. Where's the Greg Tech version of that? There you go. Blast Furnace maybe? Is there a Blast Furnace? Oh yeah, Blast Furnace there. Okay, so yeah, you can do it through here. So Mixer, I'm guessing. Oh, Redstone Alloy and Ender Pearl Dust. Okay, so that's an Iron Powder. So that's actually not hard. It's literally the uh, the polyethylene. <laughs> that's what this is the whole setup. That's what we're doing. I guess you could do this by hand, obviously, but uh, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll play around with this honestly. So we have that going in there, which is great. And then of course we have the next step. So this is your your light fuel, obviously. So that that's it. Your light fuel is done in that sense, and then you can use that as power if you like. Uh, and then after that would be taking that light fuel and doing the cracked version of that, which was going to be in the chemical reactor, which I guess we had decided we might as well go with, uh, um, well, I mean, why don't you do steam cells like that actually, since it's already out in the one, cause you'd just be doing another step at this point. So maybe I will just do this version of it. As far as I know, or what I could tell, I don't think it really made a difference, really, if you think about it. So why not? So that makes more sense, I think. So lightly, light fuel uh, into the chemical reactor. Okay, so I hope this is going to work fine. I don't know when you do multiple amps if it can clean up and like get the power it needs or if it's going to screw up, right? So well, I guess we'll find out, right? won't we? Uh, basic chemical reactor. Here we go. So we'll put you here. So yeah. So we're going to have you going into the chemical reactor beside you, my friend. Um, but here's the downside. We're going to have to do this. Actually, you might be able to do... I've never tried this before. You know what? Let's try it. Let's see if it works this way. I've never tried this before. So let's see what happens if I go like... I think that does that. Oh, it already works. Yeah, it, it actually did exactly that. Okay. There's your light fuel. Okay. And then we just need to get the steam. So obviously you'd pump your steam over here into a cell. Um, because we're right here, we could do this, to be fair. Actually, apparently you can't do it that way. I don't know how to get steam actually like this then. If you can't get steam like that, I'm guessing... <sighs> I'm guessing the steam is steam. It's just their interface can't handle it. That's my guess. So if we were to take one of these, that probably would work then. I'm guessing if we were to take one of these, then it would work. No. I don't know how to get steam. I've just hit a, a puzzling uh, issue here. I don't know how one gets steam at this point. A steam cell, a fluid canner. Oh, so you could probably do... Oh, gosh. It's like everything is steam. Okay, so there you go. You have to do the fluid canner. Okay. So we're going to do a fluid canner, and then uh, we can get that done. Okay, let me go to a fluid canner. <laughs> oh, man, this is getting messy. Yay, there you go. So there's your steam cell. So actually, that doesn't work so bad because they... Oh. That fails, but I was going to say I can just go ahead and now put this over here, and then I just need the number three circuit here, so let's put one of you guys in here, and now you stay there, and we're going to put a three on you, and then so we can go ahead and put you in here, and then we just need to feed an item pipe coming from this one, and then we can, yeah, I guess this should work, I hope. I feel like eventually I'm going to fail at something here, but uh, we'll try that. And then let's put another one in here to make sure this all works. And we'll do their item output. And why am I missing my... There you go. There we have it. Did I not... Maybe I didn't wrench this to the right. Oh, I probably didn't do that. That's why. There you go. So that should go in here in a second here. Takes up to 20 seconds, I think. So um, it could be about, you know, 18, 19 seconds right now even. Um, apparently not. But uh, did I say fluid? Item? Yeah, the item output automatically. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, there it goes. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think it's that many. I, maybe it's different from the machine outputs, to be fair. But there you go. So there you have it. So this one takes a lot more, though. You're going to have to run this back and forth quite often because that does a bit at a time, I think. Yeah, so there you go. So you're going to have to run that. Okay, so and then you're going to have to run that through. Now, I wonder. I've never tried this, and I'm almost tempted to try this. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. I wonder if I can re-output this. I never thought of that. Why not? Um, maybe with the maybe with a screwdriver we'll give it a second yeah it worked no it didn't work it's stuck in the tube isn't it somewhere because you're you're pointed up there and it's not even in here darn it okay so what we could do here then potentially is i'm thinking i could go something like this and then like this. I don't know if it'll let me do this, but that's what I would do. So it comes out of here, but it can go back in there. Oh my goodness. Oh, you put the steam cell there though. Oh, damn it. Um, wait, why is there a steam cell? Oh, because you did it instantly, I guess. Um, pretty much. How can we fix that? Maybe with this here. The motor. I bet you we can change the output. Didn't we have a bunch of motors? Pumps? Oh, conveyors. That's what they are. Yeah. That's my guess then. So what we can do is maybe we can do a... Oh, you have to do a filter, I'm guessing. It's not even let me uh, change anything on there anyways. Darn it. Okay, whatever. I'll have to figure it out. I was trying to come out with a, a hacky way of doing this. I can do it from underneath anyways. That's not a big deal. Um, but uh, I wanted to try it out. Okay, let's let's clean that up then. But anyways, obviously that worked. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to come from another side. We might have to wear the magnet to get that. There you go. Um, so how do you want to do this then if that didn't work? Let's go ahead and so that comes out, puts it in there. And then I'm just guessing we can just come from uh, the bottom here again or something. And uh, we can end up right at the, actually we could probably end up right in the, the middle there to be fair. So I'll do that after. Okay, so let's get more steam cells going in here. Might as well get a few of these uh, done. So it's done with. And that way we have them. And then seam cell, throw you guys in there. Hopefully we didn't break this. Oh, it, this might have broken it though. And then don't do your auto output right now. Hope you didn't go back and jam up the system or anything silly. So I don't know what happened to those the cells that, you know, there might be some mysteriously missing cells right now. So weird that they're oh there they go okay severely cracked okay and then the ethylene now so the ethylene one was done in here somewhere so we want severely severely steam cracked no So I, I guess that was the one we just made. Let's uh, I'll take a picture of that so I have it and I can work off of it and then Yes, yeah, severely steam cracked light fuel. That is it. Yeah, so yeah, okay So we're gonna put that in the distillery, which is gonna require a lot more energy again We might end up having to increase our power again here. Maybe we can get one more in here or uh, maybe we'll have to do something else. I'm not sure but uh, It was just to get the basics right anyway, so there you go um, we'll probably have our output come out. Oh, we can do the auto output for fluid on the right, actually. So let's do fluid output. There we go. And then we're going to put a circuit of 10 in there, uh, which I actually think that's when these get moved into a different position, I think. But I don't know where it would get moved, to be fair. Wow. 
That was just me guessing. I don't even know what I did there to 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 think that could even work. Um, there we go. So to be fair, the uh, the sulfuric acid into you know making the actual fuel wasn't too bad, and there's your light fuel. Uh, it was the ethylene that's probably the the, the most challenge, obviously. Um, which hey, we, we we've overcome that anyways. Um, but uh, yeah, I would say that that would be the the biggest challenge at this point for that one. And that's uh, the next one is the polyethylene, right? So the polyethylene is where it gets a little more on the the a little more expensive side because it's uh, going to cost you a bit more. So to make the polyethylene, you're going to do compressed air and then the ethanol. That's pretty cheap to be fair. Or oxygen cell. Which. <laughs> okay, give me a minute. Okay, I'm going to put this into. I'm going to put this fluid. Okay, there it is. It's going to go into here. And then I'll have to do the conveyor and pop out the uh, other one here. By the way, did I pop out the... Oh, it's on a... Oh, it's on one of these. I was like, oh, I'm missing something here. It's like, oh, that's because you did that, dude. There you go. Oops. There you go. And then we'll pop this one out. There you go. There's your ethylene. Okay, and I'm going to have to redo this part anyways. I'll put it in here. Uh, I need a chemical reactor, right? So I think you can do this in the basic chemical reactor. I thought we were going to go MV at this point, but I guess you don't have to. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect this in here, but you're going to want to... Um, actually, it doesn't matter for this, actually. We'll put that there. It doesn't actually matter for this one. So um, we're going to have U cell base. Remember, that's, that's how this one's going to work. So this is going to be a bit of a round robin maybe kind of idea. So... We'll have you coming here, here, and then back into here potentially. Um, so we'll have like the output of the top, I'm guessing. Something like that. That should work. And we'll have one, two, we'll just do two at a time right now. And then we're going to have to put you in here. So this hopefully will work automatically by throwing you in there. But I might, I might have to go in there and do... Actually, I don't know if you could do the screwdriver in the side, but we'll, we'll give it a minute. We'll... Oh. It worked, actually. We don't have to worry about it. And then all we have to do now is do the whole oxygen thing. So item uh, auto output. And then we just have to get the oxygen from over there to over there. So um, you're already full on a lot of sides here. So we have the hydrogen in here, which we use the hydrogen. Then we have the oxygen, which we're going to pump out. So you're going to have too much hydrogen in this setup, aren't you? That's, that's the issue here, right? So I'm going to have to deal with that too. So I'm going to have to come up with a way to deal with that eventually, but whatever. I'm going to probably redo this whole setup anyways, to be fair. This is just like my first time, but uh, I think it'll work. So let's just go and... Yeah, so this has that in the way, right? So let's go under here for now. Unless you want to put it up in the air. But where would you connect it to it here? The side? And then go underneath? Because you're making the multiple... Nah, because then you'll probably want it from there. So let's let us go from underneath. Yeah, let's do it underground. Okay, let's do that, maybe. Let's uh, also speed this up. And do a shovel here. Okay. Okay, we'll do something like that. There we have it. And then... There we go. So let's go and put you from down here. So we're going to go from here to here to here, here, here. There we go.
Oh, by the way, did we not do this correctly once we had done this originally? Um, I guess not. Yeah. So this has to do item output automatically. And then we have you, I guess, on the top already. So we'll just do that. And then you're going to want to do your fluid one. So we'll do the pump on the side here. And I'll probably do it automatically, which is beautiful. That should be going over here automatically, hopefully, in a second. That needs to hit 7,000 for this to run, by the way. So keep that in mind. And a circuit of one. We don't even have a circuit. <laughs> So, um, where do I find a circuit? Because uh, I have hundreds of them. Here they are. Get a little tired out, as you can tell. Uh, there you go. And then we're going to get a circuit of one. There you go. And there, there we go. We'll get our molten poly polyethylene, whatever, uh, done here. And then, boom. Now, you're supposed to grab a bunch of these canisters, by the way, and hand in the quest and blah, blah, blah. And I'll do that off camera, obviously, because we went through a whole bunch of chain of things. Because if you go through here, I guess it was under LV here. It's like, okay, sulfuric gas. So I guess it didn't technically make a sulfuric gas. I made the other one. But there's a bunch of different ones here, like sulfuric fuel, light fuel. There you go. And you got hydrogen. And then polyethylene, I guess, is a whole different category somewhere. Oh, did you run out of power? No, you're going, I think, still. Yeah. Woo. Now, if this was all to run, obviously, I'd probably have power issues. I might make this beefier and just add more, in, more power into this. Um, or maybe I'll just be smart and uh, split this up a bit better. But we'll see. I mean, that's a, a later thing. Not really caring too much here. And there you go. Molten polyethylene. Um, not a lot there, but, uh, it's a good start. Anyways, there you go. Ow. Wait, how much does this hold in there? Apparently holding it hurts. That's something I didn't realize. I'm so confused by the amount in there. Did the container like die or something? I was so confused what happened there. 36. Oh, apparently that's not a good way to make it. I guess you're not supposed to put it in containers like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't even know where that one is. Polyethylene, I think, is... Oh, here it is, actually. Yeah, so ethanol. So you got your ethanol in here. So I, I need to need more ethanol for this, uh, this part, too, later on. Um, but uh, I can let that build up later on. But uh, yeah, so basically all I need to do now is bring in the fuel itself. I'll do that off camera. Might as well at this point. And then I'll try to clean this up and make it better. But uh, either way, it was a fun project. I like that. Uh, I'll, I'll probably optimize this quite a bit off camera. Find a, a good way of doing things. But uh, either way, I had fun doing it. It was a learning process. I thought I'd do it on camera. I would have probably normally done that completely off camera. Walked you through it. Spent more hours on it. But uh, that, didn't, that didn't go too bad. It actually went better than I thought. So... Uh, in the end, I did technically make polyethylene, so that wasn't so bad. And I did that through Quest Oil, too. I didn't even freaking go out and grab any oil. Uh, anyways, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.